here we are with box set two as you can see One step beyond, still got the shrink on it. This is a German copy. Uh, there you go, it's a German copy, but I do have a UK release, obviously. So it's just a standard UK. Uh, so basically, what I've done is some of these, this was the sticker from the German copy. Now, once I'd cleaned up all my artwork, I didn't want to mess it up, so what I've done is I've actually stuck it on a clear piece as a sticker. So it is actually a sticker, but I can put that in with my cover so it, it's not physically stuck on the sleeve. Because, as I say, I've cleaned these up um, a hell of a lot, and the time is taken. I didn't want to mess it up, but we have actually got the original liner. And because these come out as two CDs now with the re releases, we've got uh, disc one, which is I've done as the A side label, disc side A, and disc two, I've done as the B side label, so that when you put them together, you've actually got both sides to the label, the liner cover, the cover and the sticker that went on the front which was for the German one and I have got obviously the 35th anniversary edition and for any Madness fan, um, if you've bought the 35th anniversary edition of One Step Beyond you might want to go and check their website, the MIS website, because there was a track that wouldn't fit um, and you can get it as a free download. So if you've bought the 35th anniversary, go and check out the website and get the extra track. So that's one step beyond as its original vinyl version on CD now. Absolutely, this is one that I am going to uh, do. Madness fans will know this. Uh, Mike's leaning on his umbrella. Um, Lee's blowing his cheeks out and pulling his trousers out pretty wide. Um, Woody's leaning over here. That's obviously the standard cover that everybody knows. I do have a copy here though of the withdrawn cover. Now the inside's the same with the uh, band members and the Cairo E's. Um, with uh, Mike with his umbrella under his chin, known as the umbrella up cover, the withdrawn cover. Um, Lee's not pulling his trousers out quite so much and he's not puffing his cheeks out. Um, and Woody's head is not leaned over, it's looking more straight up. The back was the same, uh, nothing different with the back, it was literally just the front cover, you know, and it is, as you can see, um, Mike's got his umbrella up, he's down there, um, Chaz is pulling his hands there on the standard one, and he's not there, so because he's got his hands up, he hasn't there, he's got his arms crossed. So, say, so it is, um, it's actually a different cover, and I do have a German copy as well, of absolutely, um, that's a UK copy, and uh, I've got a German label as well. We come on to absolutely, now this is the standard cover that everybody pretty much knows with Mike leaning on his umbrella, Carl's got his hands up, Lee's pulling his trousers out quite a long way and he's puffing his cheeks out. So that's the one everybody knows. So we've got the front and the back and that's the UK copy. And again obviously they did a double CD of that subsequently. So we've got the liner notes from the original sleeve and then again as with these I have a German copy so I've used disc 1 and disc 2 A and B side labels for my discs with just uh, a 
because I'll show you why I didn't use the UK one next but that's absolutely with the original cover that everybody knows the version of absolutely cover Lee's not pulling his trousers out quite so much and he's not puffing his cheeks out Carl hasn't got his hands out and Mike's got his umbrella under his chin rather than leaning on it but the back is the same and the inside was the same and the reason I used the German labels on the first one is because I used the UK labels on this one so I've got both sets of labels basically I had two with the umbrella down an English and a German one and this was the UK only withdrawn cover now the reason I think it was withdrawn is A I don't think they were keen on the actual pose and this took a huge amount of trying to clean up um, you can see it's really nice and clean now but the actual print quality was actually quite bad and the colours weren't very good either so I've had to try and make it the same colours more or less but the withdrawn one as I say the photo wasn't or well, the pose wasn't that great the, Im the print quality wasn't that great and I think what happened somebody might be able to correct me some of them obviously went out because I bought one when it came out uh, the ones that didn't go out probably got pulped and made into record cover for something else and um, the vinyl was probably re-sleeved and some of the ones that was in record shops got recalled as far as I'm, I can remember so some didn't go out and the ones, some of the ones that did got recalled so it was only the people like myself who bought it pretty much day one ever got this proper cover now it is in the Salvo reissue double CD but theirs isn't a very good picture either so you need the full cover and then scan it in and then go in and just spend absolutely hours getting it cleaned up but that one's done finally obviously the other album then following was seven this is a german copy as i say still got the shrink wrap on uh, 1981 uh, 12 tracks plus one um, they've got it down as aeroplane um, it's never asked twice other than that um, same in a sleeve for some reason on the label um, people will know madness fans uh, their faces are green but it's not the red stiff ones that they use for Germany they use the same as the uh, UK ones but they've done their skin green it's just normal colour on uh, the UK version but it's this label UK version of 7 as I say you know um, exactly the same but it doesn't have uh, aeroplane on it um, same internal sleeve but uh, yeah they're not green but they are on the German one I have looked at a couple of German copies um, it's not a printing error on mine they are actually green for some reason so I don't know why they did that again I've put the sticker on a piece of clear just so that we can have the sticker there but it's not ruining the cover now this one was from the German copy uh, because the UK cover was this and then you did have a track called Airplane which is uh, never asked twice which only appeared on the German copy it's obviously a b-side but for some reason they stuck it on this album but that's the UK copy so you've got the liner with all the seven, seven deadly sins seven ones of the world and then we've got the UK label now the reason I say that is that the we've got a picture of a sticker to go in with it the track list and a picture of the back 
of the German one, which is there, aeroplane. So say which is never asked twice. And then the German A and B side of the label, but that's uh, seven. Next in the album catalog was a rise and fall artwork for the gatefold. Same internal sleeve, but it did have the uh, picture labels. Um, I've seen a couple copies, German and stuff like that, they got the same picture labels pretty much. Um, I have got a couple of other copies with different labels, but the, all the artwork other than the labels are the same, so I might get around to doing it, I might not. Rise and Fall, probably one of my favourites, and that was in a gatefold sleeve, so we had fun and games doing that. Uh, there is the gatefold mini album CD version of Rise and Fall. And what we've got with that is, like, it came in a plain white inner sleeve, but it did have printing at the bottom. So this is actually a proper scan, even though it looks pale, or just white. Um, it is actually scanned from the white inner sleeve. Got my track list. And I also had a postcard. That was the front of it. Always a full postcard. And that was the back of it. So that's same with the album. And then again with the labels, because they've done a double CD of it. Um, I've used both sides of the labels for disc 1 and disc 2, so I've got the A and B side labels. So that's always on four. The next album was obviously Keep Moving. Most of the records that are available, um, same cover, uh, just the black inside and black label, most of the labels are the same, every now and again you'll see a red or a blue one with the stiff records that way, um, otherwise pretty much exactly the same, except obviously you did have the picture disc version, now this one I am going to do, keep moving the picture disc, keep moving, and it's black vinyl variant, and this is the original vinyl version, now done to CD, and that just came in a black um, die cut in her sleeve, so the label showed through, uh, as it was a, done as a double CD, obviously there were some extra tracks, so again, um, I've done it disc 1, disc 2, using the A, um, the original B side label, but that's Keep Moving, as a mini album on CD now, keep moving the picture disc album, which had uh, different tracks on it. Because it had the Wings Bring, of Death, Sun of Rain, and Michael Caine was on there. But that was the A side of the picture disc. Um, and we had the B side. Now the only difference with this is I moved the text out a little bit because it was about here somewhere and went into the hole. So I've just moved it out a bit. Try two. And there's a keep moving picture disc. On CD. And the next album we have is Mad Not Mad. Um, pretty much the same again with these, is that I've got different versions of it, but they're all much of a muchness apart from labels or just a bit of printing. Um, this one did actually bother to have um, printed inside, and obviously, I've got the uh, sheet music for that, so I might keep it in with this one. Now, this is difficult slightly outlined because obviously that was um, embossed black but that was the original album cover and again we've got the inside of the liner and again we've got the disc on the A and B the labels 
that's mad not mad. 